This is an ultra modern mega mansion built on over 22 acres of land and we're about to tour the entire thing right now. So let's get started. So beginning our tour, I wanna go ahead and start here on the exterior of this insane modern property. And as I mentioned earlier, we are situated on over 22 acres of land at this property, access into your four car garage right over here. And displayed on my left-hand side, we actually have a private guest property with one bedroom and one bathroom. And we will be seeing that at the end of the video. So make sure to stick around. And what's interesting is that this home is actually not currently on the market. We got invited here by the owner to shoot this video for them. And in terms of the specs of this property, we've got the main house plus the guest house totaling for about 14,000 square feet of interior space. Displayed on my left-hand side, we have a covered carport that can fit three cars. And we have one of the most dramatic entries I might have ever seen before. It's pretty, pretty crazy. We have two Easter Island statues on either side of me, and they actually are water features as well. We have some fish swimming around in both of these ponds. And this kind of bridge-like entry taking you up to this pretty dramatic front door. Let's head inside. So now we have just made it inside of this stunning contemporary property. And as we first enter, we have this dramatic two-story entry bringing in tons of natural lights. And you take these steps leading you into your impressive great room. And we have a lot to see in this property. It's really cool. So of course, we've got smooth stucco finish across the entire interior. And we have this dramatic fireplace, stonework extending all the way up to the ceiling. And of course, this area is lined with seating sections. It's super ideal for entertaining. And it kind of reminds me of Iron Man's house from the movie, if you've seen that, because the house is kind of constructed in an unfinished circular design. So the wings of the property are gonna contain circular type hallways and it's pretty cool. So I'll make sure to point that out to you. And you'll notice up above me as well, we have these interesting kind of strip lights all around adding to the mood. I think it looks really cool. Now on my right hand side, you can see that we have your formal dining table currently staged to sit six of your guests. And you'll notice all around the property too, we have Christmas decorations. It is that time of year. If you take a look over to my right, you have a real Christmas tree completely decorated. Imagine spending Christmas morning in this gorgeous modern interior. I think that would be my dream Christmas. That would be amazing. And you'll notice inside of this great room as well, we also have three sets of pocket sliding doors leading you straight out to the backyard with amazing views of the hillside. We also have an oversized infinity edge pool. We're not gonna show you the backyard just yet. Make sure to stick around. We'll go out there a little bit later. But I mean, these views are absolutely gorgeous of the hillside. And I wanna further take you down through this section of the property. And you can see that we are led over into your well-appointed kitchen area. Super sleek, modern interior in the kitchen. We have two kitchen islands, dark countertops paired well with a nice kind of silver cabinetry all throughout. And something interesting that I do wanna point out to you, push to open all of these and they actually have automatic lights turning on as soon as you open them. And then of course they turn off when you close them. Same with these, I mean, that's really cool. Something we don't really see too often. And then of course we got some built-in refrigeration spaces over here, designed by Sub-Zero, always great to have. Let's go ahead and continue down through this section. I wanna show you some more of the inner workings of this kitchen area. We've got two built-in dishwashers on either side of your stone enclosed sink area. And then we actually have another sink on the left of that. It's always great to have more than one in any kitchen. We've got some more of the silver cabinetry and above we have glass paneled cabinetry. So looks super nice. I like that feature. And then we have access into your walk-in pantry on my right. We continue through, we've got your built-in Miele espresso machine next to your massive Sub-Zero fridge. Continue through, we've got a built-in microwave area, and then we actually have some access into the backyard, which we'll see in a bit, so make sure to stick around. Clear story windows, bring in some natural light to the space. On my left, we've got your six burner stove top designed by Wolf, double oven setup displayed right below that. And as I mentioned, we have dark stone countertops, and they actually do double here as the backsplash built-in pot filler, always essential to have that. And your hood is nicely flushed up above so you can barely tell that it's there, adding to the simplicity of this entire kitchen. 
I like this area a lot. And you'll notice, as I said, we kind of have like a circular design in this property. And you'll notice that the ceilings above are actually kind of sloped downward, adding that nice, cool, contemporary feel. We don't see it too often in properties. It's very unique. Now I wanna go ahead and head up these stairs right over here. And on my left-hand side, we have access into your powder room. Let's go ahead and take a look inside of here really quickly. We've got a nice little skylight above, bringing in some natural light. And then we got tiled walls paired well with your pedestal sink. And we have this mirror covering the entire side of the wall. Over here on my left-hand side, we actually have access into the upper level and a couple bedrooms down this hallway. But I actually wanna take you down this hallway first because we have access into the primary suite, primary bathroom, and closet. Got some storage spaces over there on my right-hand side. And we take these steps down here. And as I mentioned earlier, you can see that this hallway is kind of in a circular design. Really interesting. And then, of course, we've got all of these windows looking straight out to your entry. You can see your Easter Island statues, your pond, your fish. Pretty crazy to have. I wanna take you down through this section right over here and we are seamlessly led into your primary closet area. I don't think I've seen a primary closet of this size ever before, but you can see I'm six foot three for reference and look at how tall these cabinets are. They are pretty massive. Glass paneled cabinetry all throughout this section. It's kind of like a little store. We have separate little aisles taking you into various closet spaces. Pretty, pretty crazy. We have a designated vanity space right over here with mirrors going up to the ceiling, LED backlit mirror as well. Get ready before a party right over here in the space. And I've never seen this before either, but you actually have little seating areas in your very own closet and a flat screen TV. So if you wanna watch TV in your own closet, this is exactly where you can do it. You also get natural lights, views over into the guest house, and we also have some hillside views in this closet as well. Plenty of space as you can see, I mean, extremely high ceilings, checks all the boxes. Now I wanna further take you through this section and we have just made it into your primary bedroom suite. Again, we're getting tons of natural light into this space, clear story windows above. These ceilings have gotta be probably like 25 feet tall, sloping downward, pretty crazy area. And what else I like about this space too is that this bed is actually constructed up from the ground. This is not a staged bed, it's something we never really see, but this is really cool. Now we also have another oversized fireplace on the far side of this room, of course paired well with your flat screen TV, views of downtown Los Angeles on there, and of course we're getting a lot of natural light, views of the hillside, and also views of your guest house, as I mentioned earlier, and we can actually open up these doors as well. Let in some fresh air. Beautiful, just look at, look at this, this is amazing. Now let's go ahead and head back inside the space because we have to show you the primary bathroom area. It's pretty crazy. So we first come into this section, we've got nice stone floors all around this area. I've never seen this type of shower before either in my entire life, but it's very interesting. So you have zero glass at the shower. You kind of just walk in and out of it as you please. And above me, we have your massive mounted rain head and then a smaller rain head. Also got a body spray and take a look at this for a second. I mean, what shower have you seen that looks like this? That is really crazy. Never before have I seen that. Really minimalist and I think it complements the space very well. Now something else interesting that the owner did tell me is that this glass artwork of Marilyn Monroe was actually engineered by Rihanna and she for some reason didn't want it in her house so they gave it to the current owner of this property, which is a pretty cool story. We have your freestanding tub right in front of your Marilyn Monroe glass art piece. And did I mention in this space as well, we have dual vanities on either side of the area with the matching stonework as the backsplash, backlit LED mirror spaces, floating vanities, and also you've got sub-zero refrigeration in your bathroom and an espresso machine. Having this in your bathroom is pretty amazing to have. You don't have to walk all the way to your kitchen every morning to get a cup of coffee. Just get it right after you wake up. Pretty cool. Now what's interesting is that this bathroom actually seamlessly takes us into a kind of massage slash gym area. And again, we got the super high ceilings. We've got integrated speakers up above. We actually have a built-in sauna area. It's nicely glass enclosed. Imagine having a hard workout in your own home and going into the sauna the comfort of your own property. Pretty cool to have. Now something else very interesting about this room is that you lift this up and you actually have a constructed hot tub in the interior of your property. Pretty insane. Haven't really seen this one before as well, but having it in your own kind of fitness studio room is pretty awesome. 
As I mentioned earlier, we get tons of natural lights, hillside views, backyard access. And on my right hand side, we also have access into a half bathroom paired well with some nice tiled walls and a pedestal sink. Now that pretty much wraps up our entire tour of the first half of the property. Before we head upstairs and check out some more bedrooms, I want to go ahead and open up this door right here and show you the amazing backyard. So let's go do it right now. Now we've just made it out into your impressive backyard area. On my left hand side, we have access over into your garden and a couple living spaces, but those are currently being worked on. So we're not gonna check those out today, but we have to talk about this infinity edge pool for a second because this is pretty remarkable. I mean, one of the largest ones I think we've ever seen on this channel before, getting beautiful views of the hillside in the distance. You can most likely fit like 150 plus people in this pool alone. Got a couple statues lined around the space, making it feel extra modern, extra luxurious, beautiful design. And if that pool wasn't enough for you, we also have a hot tub situated right next to it. Unobstructed views, it looks remarkable. And of course you're getting beautiful views of your modern architecture as well. We got a couple stage pool chairs around the area, built-in fire pit as well. Imagine relaxing out here with all your friends and family, having a party, you can absolutely do it. Let's come back through this section, couple more seating areas, seamless access back over into the interior of the property, also access into the master suite as we've seen earlier. And I wanted to show you this really quick. So you actually have a nice outdoor shower, very essential to have here. And then views of the guest house, and we have access over there as well from this door. And that pretty much wraps up our tour of the backyard. So now let's head upstairs. So now we are back into the interior of the property. We are now on the other side of that circular hallway. More views over into your front yard area, a couple storage spaces on my right hand side. And we have your artistic spiral staircase taking you up to level two. How cool does this look in this open atrium of the property? Of course, looking straight out to your front yard. Pretty remarkable space. Before we head over there, got to show you a couple quick rooms over here. We have access into your four car garage space on my left hand side. And we have a full-size bathroom complete with a nice stone enclosed shower and a pedestal sink. And then on my right, we have a movie theater and a private office, which we are not going to be checking out today. But instead, I want to go ahead and take you up these stairs because I mean, just how cool is this? How artistic is this? Super open atrium. We got the light fixture above this kind of private circular space looking out to the Easter Island statues. I've never seen something like this before, but pretty remarkable. Now we're coming up through this space and we're led into a upper living room of the property. We have tons of natural light coming into this space, complete with a full kitchenette. We actually have a formal dining table up here as well. You can currently sit up to seven of your guests here. Pretty remarkable to have here on the upper floor. Something else we got to talk about. We've got Dance Dance Revolution, the game in this upper floor next to a pinball machine. So you can relax up here for a couple days and probably never get bored. I mean, you have everything you could possibly imagine. Nice little balcony over there on my left as well. We've got a full size fridge. We've got custom cabinetry and look at how they open too. Pretty remarkable to have. And again, this is your kind of guest property floor. So pretty remarkable to have this. You've got a two burner stove top, microwave, built in sink area. I mean, you've literally got everything up here, including this nice little living section. Checks all the boxes. Now let's continue on over here through my left hand side and we have access into another bedroom of this property. Phenomenal views over there into the hillside, views into your guest property, tons of natural lights and it's very spacious. You know, you can have a nice seating area comfortably in this room, stonework extending up to the ceiling and we also have space for a mounted flat screen TV, tons of built in cabinet spaces all around as well. Very nice to have and I want to take you through this space right over here and we have your oversized ensuite bathroom. If someone told me this was the master suite, I would probably believe them just because of how much space you have in here. You've got a massive sink setup, 
two vanity spaces as well with the backlit LED mirrors, stonework extending up to the ceiling all around this bathroom, two rain heads in your shower space, tiled walls inside of your shower, and of course, more beautiful views of the hillside in this bathroom. Very nice to have. Now let's continue out through this space. We have access into your walk-in closet over here, tons of storage as well, and some built-in cabinetry on the far side of that room. And now let's continue down through this space. We have one more bedroom to show you. So let's go ahead and take a right-hand turn. Beautiful space. Again, more views of the hillside, stonework extending up to the ceiling, right behind the bed area, tons of built-in cabinetry spaces. We also have your ensuite bathroom right over here, kind of similar to the last one, but just a little bit different. We've got more stonework all around the section, tiled shower, dual rain heads, plus a body spray. And you also have your oversized sink area, nice LED backlit mirror, more views of the hillside in here as well. So let's continue through this section. We've got one more little space to show you on my left-hand side, and that is access over into your walk-in closet area. And we come back through here and that actually wraps up our tour of this entire main modern property. However, we still have to check out that little guest house that we saw in the beginning of the video. So let's jump to that right now. So now we are back in the front of the property. We saw this in the beginning of the video and I wanna further take you through this section really quickly. As we saw in the main house, we've got super high ceilings and we have another little built-in kitchenette, kind of like the one we saw on the upper floor. Two burner stovetop, built-in sink area, some nice refrigeration right below this area. And on my left, we have access into a private office, currently occupied, so we're not gonna check that out. But I wanna show you this bedroom just really quickly while we have the chance. Tons of natural light in this section, beautiful bed setup overall, checks all the boxes. And then we gotta check out this space really quick also, built-in closet. And you got your ensuite bathroom in this space. We've got a tiled shower space, built-in rain head paired well with your pedestal sink inside of here. All right, everyone. So that does indeed wrap up our tour of this entire main property here at this home situated on over 22 acres of land. If you stuck around throughout this entire tour, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. Of course, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, comment down below if you haven't already. And again, a huge thank you to the owner for allowing us to do this video for them. I had a great time. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next tour.